We are here continuing our conversation about uh, Mr. Lee's book, 100 Reincarnation Cases in Pinyang. And to help the readers have a better understanding, uh, Mr. Lee is going to answer some questions and tell us a little bit more about reincarnation in general. So as most of you know, reincarnation is when a spirit moves from one body to another. And the in-between phase is known as the intermission time. And in that intermission time, there are three types of spirits that are documented in Mr. Lee's book. The first one he has called the true type. Mr. Lee, can you tell us what is a true type spirit? Uh, okay, that's a, a good question. So, uh, as Amanda mentioned, okay, uh, in my book, uh, those uh, reincarnators have very detailed, amazing experience during their intermission time. In another word, they have a very good memory about their uh, intermission. Uh, so, the intermission memories are very important to study the activities of spirits. Uh, so after uh, a detailed research about their accounts of the activities of uh, daily life as a spirit, or we can call it a ghost, so uh, I conclude that uh, there are three different types of spirits. The first one is true uh, spirit. So a true spirit is exactly like human beings, I think. It's uh, only uh, the only difference is uh, they are uh, invisible to us, okay, but uh, they have the full body uh, function. In another word, the true spirits have to eat every day, have to drink every day. They also have to go to the toilet every day, just like you and me. And uh, so I conclude, okay, the true spirits. Uh, have uh, their own internal organs mm -hmm. like uh, blood. For for example, there's a uh, uh, there's a case in the book. Uh, she was when she was uh, a spirit. Uh, she was uh, chasing her future mother, and then there was a dog came out. Of course, the dog is a real dog. It's a human being, world dog. But uh, not only in Chinese tradition, in the whole world, uh, there are a lot of uh, similar reports that dogs uh, not only can see human beings, dogs can see uh, the spirits, the ghosts. If you live in a village, sometimes there's no burglars, there's no thieves, but some dogs will uh, barking suddenly. It seems without any reason. It's not ridiculous because they can, the dogs can see something that we human beings cannot see. So, the dog, uh, when the dog saw the spirit in the book, okay, the dog rushed to her and bite her uh, small leg, and suddenly the spirit uh, felt a very acute pain and a lot of blood uh, on her leg. That, in another word, the spiritual body was bleeding. Mm -hmm. So this is, we all conclude, okay, this is a true uh, spirit. Okay. Because there's a, there, if there's blood, there must be, you know, uh, flesh, bone, everything. Mm -hmm. So a spirit, a spirit has this uh, spirit, uh, some spirits have a spirit body, spirit bones, spirit brain, spirit heart, spirit uh, stomach, everything. They are, they are identical to human beings. Only, only they are not, uh, they don't have a physical body, but they have a spiritual body. Okay, spiritual body. So we call this kind of. Uh, uh, true uh, spirit. And wait a minute, I have a picture to show you. Mm -hmm. So this is number uh, five uh, case. This boy uh, told me when I interviewed him, he re recollected that as a spirit, he uh, 
he hid behind the door when uh, when it entered the future, the current family to it to reincarnate it because there was a pregnant in the home. So he explained, he told me it's very clear that he experienced, he, he did an uh, experiment. He put one hand, he put one hand uh, into another hand. So like this, when uh, he was a spirit, like this. Of course, we can't throw our our hand, okay, from here, fingers to here, but he, he can, he experience. So at that time, he didn't feel any pain. It's easy. So, and also he told me when he was uh, waiting for reincarn uh, reincarnation, she, uh, it uh, had never eat anything or drunk any water. So I conclude this uh, kind of spirit is not a true spirit. I'm sorry, I'll continue to follow. No, that's Yeah, okay. yeah, what, what, what? So he would be a second type of spirit, and you call those an empty spirit. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. So uh, this is an empty uh, spirit. Uh, empty spirit, the difference between uh, empty uh, spirit and true spirit is not about their appearance. Their appearance are identical, I think, because uh, uh, they told me that a spirit, when a spirit watch another spirit, uh, just like a human being is watch another human being, it's vivid, okay? It's not, it's vivid, okay? The, the, the facing expressions, the dirty clothes, okay? The, uh, the mood, okay? Everything. The gestures, everything is vivid. So it's uh, the, the true uh, aspiration, the empty aspiration, okay, the appearance, okay, they also have their bodies. Appearance are uh, similar or identical, but the difference is uh, the empty spirit seems they don't have uh, internal organs because they never drink, they never eat, they never go to a toilet. And uh, when a true spirit hurt, just mentioned a few minutes ago, like uh, where a dog, uh, where a dog uh, bites a uh, true spirit, the true spirit will bleed. But uh, like this boy told us, okay, this is an uh, empty spirit. Empty spirit, it seems there's nothing inside of the body. It's, it seems like an empty body only with a spiritual skin. There's appearance. There's a, it seems there's a body, but it, it seems there's a, it's a empty inside. Mm -hmm. So it's empty uh, spirit. And what about the third type of spirit, the invisible spirit? Yes. And uh, uh, the invisible spirit, uh, I think uh, uh, it's only uh, I'm sorry, it's only only one case. Uh, the uh, invisible in spirit. Uh, cannot see itself. It seems uh, this kind of spirit it seems uh, it's not only uh, transparent to human beings, but also transparent completely to spirits. So no spirit can see such spirit, and also this spirit cannot see itself. But uh, it doesn't mean it's uh, nothing. This kind of spirit can also uh, know its existence in the world. They can move, they need to walk, uh, they need to run, they can move some uh, spiritual objects. So spirits live in the spiritual world. Everything has a spirit, in fact. At all, at least everything has a spiritual body. Uh, uh, I don't know if they have a mind, but every spirit, every object have a spirit, a body. Like uh, the spirit have a, every spirit has a spirit body, but also like a chair, uh, like a mug, also has a spirit, spirit body. So if I were a spirit, okay, I will feel the world similar as human beings. 
I can move the bug, I can drink the water, but to your eyes, to your human being's eyes, the mug is still there, but in fact, uh, the spirits of the mug have been moved by spirits, that's me, okay? So this is uh, invisible. But uh, true, st true spirits, there are lots of uh, evidence, there are lots of uh, examples to support. Empty spirits, there are quite a few, but uh, invisible spirits, there are only one case. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And so don't forget to buy Mr. Lee's book, either in paperback or the ebook form, and leave any questions or comments about the video below. Thank you.